Um, Why do you think you experience vibrations in your chest when loud music plays? Look, like the vibrations of the sound. The rhythm was good. The rhythm. That's why I felt that way. Because the waves of the music are going through you. Well, because uh, when sound is made, it makes vibrations that go out and in a forward direction from the source of the sound. It moves in the floor and then it just like moves up your body. It moves into your heart. <laughs> Maybe it vibrates the ground. I don't know. It vibrates the ground and that vibrates up your body. This is the sound the loud music. travels. <laughs> <laughs> it's the bass, <laughs> the drums. <laughs> the sound waves are strong enough that they're pumping your chest. Perfect. Same reason that in your car, if you turn the music up loud, the mirrors will shake. But the first thing that pops in my head, just, I don't know, my heart's connected to it, so my body joins in with the music. Because <laughs> I get really excited. Okay. Alright, so what we're going to be doing is investigating how pitch influences the body's internal vibration when it comes to sound. We think one of the reasons for why this happens is because of what's called natural frequency. Every object has a natural frequency at which the particles of that object vibrate at, um, at a certain rate. And so, for example, if you have two tuning forks um, that have the same natural frequency, and you hit one and that rings, a similar tuning fork with the same natural frequency will also vibrate because the other one is ringing right next to it. So we think that the human body has a certain natural frequency, and so when we listen to certain music, um, that the music vibrates at a certain natural frequency with the music wavelengths, which in turn results in the natural frequencies of our bodies causing that vibration or reverb in the chest cavity. Oh, yeah. Bush, hello. Please sit down. Oh, thanks, man. Appreciate it. How's it going? Fine. You? Uh, all right. Great. Um. So. Well, I was actually I have you today. I was going to ask you a few questions. How do you feel about all of this? What are some things to keep in account as we conduct this experiment? All right. Um, there's a few concepts we need to know. Uh, one of them is wavelength. Uh, wavelength can be measured uh, as the distance between two crops or two crests. And frequency is a number of cycles per second, which is hertz. Okay, so can you tell us a little about reverb? Yeah, totally. Uh, reverb is the collection of reflected sounds from the surface in an enclosure like an auditorium. Okay, okay cool. So can you tell us a little about resonance now? Yeah, uh, resonance is uh, when the frequency of an external force matches the natural frequency. Um, so, Josh, do you have any more questions for me? As a matter of fact, I do. Decibels, would you like to explain that just a little more in depth? All right, well, uh, the definition of decibels is a logarith logarithmic uh, unit used to express the ratio of two values of a physical quality of the power or intensity. Amplitude is the distance between the, cross, the crest and the equilibrium. Um, and then pitch, uh, the lower pitch there is, uh, the lower frequency, which means greater wavelength and amplitude. see what's going on over here. Well, didn't see you there. Oh, hey, Reggie. So I was just wondering, since you're playing the bass guitar and all, would you happen to know what dissonance is? Yeah, dissonance. Uh, so dissonance takes place when there's two pitches that are not quite the same frequency, but they're close. So for instance, I could play an A right here, and then I could play a G sharp which is a half step between, or half step below the A. So they're close in frequency, but they're not exactly the same. And when I play them at the same time, just kind of feel this sort of 
vibration taking place inside. Like when I play it, I can feel it right here. <laughs> and that's sort of what happens when there's dissonance. So, Joel, I've been thinking, um, have you ever been to a concert and you know when, like, the different pitches kind of, like, shakes your chest? Have you, like, have you ever thought about that? Yeah. In fact, Josh, I have a lot of thoughts. One of my thoughts is that the lower the pitch of a certain sound, the more the vibration in the chest. Cool. Let's give that a shot. Okay. Okay, so the reason why we feel a greater vibration in our chest when the pitch is lower is because when the pitch is lower, as Luke explained, um, there's a lower frequency and thus um, the amplitude is greater from the crest and the trough to the uh, equilibrium and also the wavelength is longer. So because of that, our bodies can distinguish those wavelengths um, and, can and can actually feel them like as as we hear them and feel them um so as opposed to if it was a greater pitch you'd be a higher frequency and so the wavelength and the amplitude would be so small that we wouldn't actually be able to feel it so that's why lower the freak uh lower the pitch the uh, greater the vibration experiment where you play different notes and see what pitches um, cause more vibrations in your body and we went around and asked outside peoples what they thought and we came here and we tested it out oh yeah yeah so uh, sort of what we discovered is that um, different pitches definitely uh, influence the uh, vibrations in your chest like the magnitude I guess um, and that's because of the frequency, when a low note is played, the frequency is really low. So when the frequency is low, the wavelength and the amplitude is greater. And so then, since they're greater, uh, those pitches are felt way more than like higher frequencies because those are just so fast and so little that you can, you can barely even feel them. Um, so then also another factor is dissonance, uh, which is just sort of what I explained earlier. when two notes are played, but they're not exactly the same frequency. That causes a vibration to take place as well. Yeah, and uh, going off of what he said, uh, resonance is um, when the frequency of an external force matches the natural frequency, which kind of relates as to why uh, the bass, uh, that external force matches our, our uh, natural frequencies. And then going back to our original, um, the reason why we investigated this whole deal was uh, to, to see how pitch influences the body's internal vibrations uh, by sound. Let's get back to rock and roll. <laughs> Three, four! <laughs> Girls ask the guys, it's always a surprise There's nothing better than you do like my sweater 